So we were just going along this shoreline. We're on Devil's Lake, North Dakota. And up ahead of us here, we just seen fins coming out of the water, water splashing. And there is a big school of white bass up in front of us here. So we're just gonna stop here and try to wear them out. But this is just such a fun, neat fishing opportunity. We get asked all the time about white bass on Devil's Lake. And so, cool fish to have in the lake. Just a cool fish to fish for. Probably one of the hardest fighting fish there is. You look at their size. Tell you what, you catch a hundred of these in a day, your hands are cut up, it's just combat. Looks like there's a bunch of them up there. Here we go. These are just such a fun fish. And on Devil's Lake, you know, the walleyes get a lot of the attention, the perch get the attention in the, in the winter time, but I tell you what, these white bass are fun. And you take a jig and a paddle tail like this, it's just really effective. It's cheap, first of all. I'm just threading a walleye shad on there. But that single hook, see that long shank hook, you just pop it and tear it through the weeds. And so we're just basically casting and reeling fast. We get any weed contact, just pop on the rod tip. These fish are just coming in and eating it. When these fish are shallow, it's tough to be just a jig in plastic. There he is. Oh, come here. <laughs> but you can see that that fish is probably, oh, maybe, maybe 14 inches or so. But when you hook one of these fish, you'll swear you've got a 20 inch walleye. I mean, they just freight train it. You know, pound per pound, I don't think you're going to find a harder fighting fish than a white bass. I mean, they're just such a fun fish to catch. You can just wear yourself out catching these fish. And what's neat about the Devil's Lake Basin is that you're going to find white bass throughout the lake, from the east end of the lake all the way up to the far west end of the lake. There's white bass in a lot of these places. And type of locations where you often find white bass, if you basically just take these big shallow bays, whether it's New Mill Bay, Penny Bay over in East Bay, south end of Black Tiger Bay and Dead Cow Bay, any of these shallow shorelines where you have that weed growth. And a lot of times in the summertime, you're gonna find these white bass shallow and they're gonna be on the inside edge of that weed line. And so you take like Browns Bay and East Devils Lake, you take a lot of the bays up in Pelican Lake. I mean, there's all those locations have white bass. And historically, you know, East Devils Lake, that just seemed like that was an area that had more white bass than anywhere. But last couple of years, I tell you what, there are a lot of white bass up in Pelican Lake. And so you're gonna find white bass throughout the system. And not only are these a fun fish to target and catch, but I think they're an important fish for our walleye and pike in the sense that I think a lot of the biggest walleyes and the biggest pike, they're eating these white bass. See how many casts in a row I go here. This doesn't look like it's any fun at all, does it? <laughs> look at all the fish following it. Oh yeah, look at them. You reel in one and there's 10 of them following it. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but that is cool. That didn't take long. Oh, come here. Oh, they are so, so strong. They're buried up in those weeds. And I think if you were to pick a top white bass fishery in the country, I think Devil's Lake would probably have to be at the top of the list. As far as just the, the size of the fish and the numbers of fish. Boy, they are just stacked in there.
Oh, come here. That is a nice fish. Look at that. Look at that jig. Look at that. <laughs> that is a cool looking fish. Yeah, that's just gorgeous. And so basically, if you want to catch white bass on Devil's Lake, I'll tell you what, for a big chunk of the summer, you can't go wrong. You know, we're just burning along these shallow shorelines. You're going to catch walleyes, you're going to catch pike, and obviously white bass. And a lot of times you can just stumble into these fish incidentally when you're walleye fishing, but... Oh! Get them up out of the weeds. But what I find is that a lot of times these fish will be up on these shallow sand flats where there's lots of vegetation. You see how many, see all the weeds that are growing out here. And right up ahead of us, there's just an open pocket on that inside edge. Those fish love to stack up on that inside edge of the weeds. And a lot of times I find the white bass shallower than the walleyes. That's another nice fish. Lift them up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is just cool. Just a neat, neat fish. There he is. Oh, look at that. That is so much fun. These fish have so much power for their size. You just see though, look at how look at the girth on these fish. These fish are just beautiful. You know, white bass are part of the temperate bass family. You know, so they're in that same class of fish as like a striper. A wiper is actually a cross, a hybrid between a white bass and a striper, but they are all muscle, all fight. You know, one thing that I find interesting about white bass as well is that they're really a spooky fish. And that if you come in on them with the trolling motor, or the boat, if you get anywhere near them, they just, they're just gone. They're probably the spookiest fish in Devil's Lake. Much spookier than a pike or a walleye or anything else. And so you definitely have to kind of hang back from them. We've just got the talon down the back of the boat. Just wearing them out. Oh, that one stopped it. Look at all the fish following it. Look at that, There's, they're following it. <laughs> oh, come here. And a three pound white bass isn't uncommon at all on Devil's Lake. I saw that one come up. That is cool. What a predator. <laughs> Look at this one. Look at this. Something got a hold of it. Like a piker. You know, so a lot of people, when they come to Devil's Lake, especially when they come from outside the area, you know, they're targeting walleyes. You know, walleyes are on the brain of most people that fish Devil's Lake, at least in the open water season. But tell you what, you come out here, I can't tell you how many times as a guide where you get into a school of white bass and nobody wants to leave. <laughs> they're just, they're so much fun. And, you know, a lot of people target them on purpose. We used to get a lot of people from Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, Minnesota that would come here just to catch white bass because it truly is some of the best white bass fishing, some of the best fishing you're gonna find as far as just catching a lot of fish that fight hard. And it's also a tremendous opportunity if you wanna get kids out, if just new anglers, you know, that haven't caught a lot of fish, I tell you what, you get some kids into a bunch of white bass and those kids are gonna be hooked for life. I mean, it's just such a fun fish to target and to target on purpose.